How's it going, friends? This is David Boyd for the Sam Via Art Team. I'm here with my friend Calston today, and we're going to go over a few finishing techniques on some of the more current looks that we're seeing in men's haircuts today. But before we get into the technique, what I would like to do is to go over some of the tools for success that we're going to be using. Number one is going to be our Sam Via nine row finishing brush. This is going to give me a lot of tension and control when we're blowing out the hair and sculpting the shape into the finish. The other tool I'm going to be using is our Sam Via paddle brush. This is going to give me medium tension and it's going to work really well on the wet hair to establish our partings and create the shape that we're going to create. So one of the first things that we want to do is take a look at the haircut itself. Now I know that for a lot of us, creating a lot of these men's cuts isn't the hard part. But once it's done, now what do we do, right? We want it to look perfect, we want it to look polished, and oftentimes that's where a lot of the confusion comes in. And surprisingly, I've noticed a lot of stylists when dealing with men's cuts, sometimes we forget some of our hairdressing skills, and we feel like the best case scenario is just to muscle the shape into place with product, which is a good way to go. What we want to talk about today is using some of our hairdressing techniques, as well as some, as some of our Redken products, to create a look that's going to last. This is going to create a style that's going to stay, and it's going to give us a good foundation for that look to send them home and have it last all day long. So before we get into this, what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water, just like a wrinkly shirt, refresh it out of the dryer. We've got to add a little bit of moisture before we can polish this out. One of the other things I want to use is our Redken Pillow Proof Primer. Now we know that product is not an option, it's a necessity, right? And this product, especially when it comes to blow drying, is just as important as anything else to cut down on dry time, and to protect the hair from any of the thermal tools that we'll be using. So I'm going to apply a little bit of that. The next thing I'm going to apply is our Redken Guts with a hold level of 10. This is going to allow the style that we create to stay for hours at a time. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this just through the hair at the scalp, just using my fingers to get inside the shape to apply that product right where it needs to go. Now I'm going to use our paddle brush to distribute the product briefly. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Calston around so you guys can see exactly what it is that we're going to do. Now I'm going to have him tilt his head back just a little bit so we can get a good angle on the technique. Also today, we'll be using our Samvia Light Ionic Blow Dryer. This is one of my favorite tools when using a finishing technique to create lots of volume and movement with a high airflow and using the concentrator on the nozzle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin with a directional blow dry. Now all of us have done this in beauty school and a million times since, and it's a very important part to establishing a good look for our men's cuts as well. So I'm going to start with high, with a medium air and medium heat, parting the hair towards myself, taking small subsections and blow drying the hair away from myself first, nice and slow. We're just looking to get a little bit of dryness and a little bit of shape at the base or in our zone one. Now I'm going to come back in the opposite direction to establish a little bit more of a natural fall finish to these sections of hair. I'm going to take our next section again and opening it up like pages of a book, I'm going to part away from myself, creating some of this dryness and priming our shape starting in our zone one, coming back the opposite way to create just about a 15 to 20 percent level of dryness through the base. Now again, I'm parting away and brushing away for myself. And once I've established that section, I'm going to bring it back towards me. At this point, we're set up to start using our nine row brush to really start to put the shape in that we want to see in the finish. So at this point, I'm going to grab our Sambia nine row brush. I'm going to use a higher heat and higher airflow because at this point I'm not working directly on the scalp. With the hair parted and the grains of the hair coming towards myself, I'm able to pick up each section very easily with a nine row brush and create a very nice strong kind of arc shape to each section. As you can see, if I come in with the first two or three rows of our brush, it's very, very easy to deal with the hair and to keep a nice level of control to each section. And as I go, especially with Calston's color, I'm able to see this finish start to show up and see that kind of bevel in the shape, that roundness. That's going to create a nice voluminous finish. It's going to have a lot of movement. Now, with our education here with Sam Via, we like to keep it as current as we can. 
And I know that a lot of the looks that we're seeing coming out of the salons and barbershops are oftentimes very, very highly controlled with pomades and gels and waxes. And a lot of these styles don't really move. So the fun part about a finished technique like this is we're able to replicate a lot of those types of looks and haircuts, but we're able to give the hair movement and texture. This adds a lot more visual interest to what we're doing. I was picking up each section at a time, using the first two or three rows of my brush to pick up the hair and elevate it up away from the head shape, creating lift at the base and texture and movement through the ends to really show off some of the fun color that Kalsman's got going on. As I start to see some of this lift develop, I know I can leave those previous sections alone and move on to my next to start to finish up the look. I'm coming in. I've only got a couple more sections left here towards the front. I'm creating a medium level of lift with my brush, elevating that hair at about a 45 degree angle up and off the scalp. Now again, it was important that I set up this style with our pillow proof primer to make sure that the dry time is quick and the hair is protected, especially when it's been color treated from this thermal styling that we're doing. At this point, the hair is pretty much dry. And what I want to do is I want to continue to use the nine row brush to gather hair in from the outside and start to pull and fold that hair in towards the middle. So we've got a look that incorporates an element of softness and movement, as well as a level of control and precision. So what I'm doing is I'm just using very, very lightly. Now these bristles are quite rough as far as pressure on the skin. So I would like to use very, very light pressure as I use the brush through the hair to gather it in towards the middle. And perhaps in these back corners where we've got a lot of hair to pick it up and really kind of fold it in. Pick it up and fold it in towards the middle. And now you can see that now that the hair is dry, we're really able to see a lot of that color that Calston's going, got going on. So at this point, we're gonna turn him back around. The blow dry aspect is finished. And you can see we've got a nice level of volume. It's definitely controlled. It's definitely deliberate, but it can move. It gives us a lot of visual texture. So what I wanna do is I wanna grab one of Redken's new products that I'm pretty excited about. This is our Mess Around 10. It's got a hold level that's about medium with the characteristics of kind of a creamy wax or pomade. I'm gonna use just a little amount, emulsify in the hands, make sure I distribute it very, very evenly throughout. So I've got some of our Mess Around 10 in the hair, and I wanna make sure that I really, really distribute this product through. Now I'm making sure to support his head in the front so that we're not knocking him around, but I really wanna make sure that product's in there, and I've got a lot of it off my fingertips. Now, when we go for the finish, and we wanna see how it looks, of course, I don't have a mirror with me, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna step up here in front and really start to take a look at how we can sculpt this shape into something that's gonna look good now and last all day long. So what we're gonna do is really start to really scrunch that shape in. We've got a nice foundation with our blow dry and we've got support from our Redken products. So we can really add a lot of texture and movement to what we're doing here with Calston's hair. And once we've got some of that texture and we're really showing off some of that color that he's got, I'll step in front here and make sure we've got some good balance and make sure that it's looking fresh just by placing some of that hair where we want it to be. At this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of our Red con Control Addict for a little bit of finishing control and hold to make sure that this style is gonna stay. At this point, I'm gonna turn him to the profile so you can see the shape that we've created. We've got a nice pompadour shape with some volume, some texture, and it really shows off Calston's color. So thanks a lot for coming and watching this video today. And what I'd like to do is invite you to leave any comments or questions or feedback that you might have in the box below. I'm Dave Boyd with the Sam Via Art Team. Thanks for watching.